I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the mind. Uh, again, from my perspective, the mind is that little voice inside your head that talks to you and it very rarely uh, says many good things, um, unless you have it disciplined fairly well. Uh, it is a connect-the-dot machine that takes these absurd things and goes from here to here to here to here to here and then says, Bleh. when you said this, it meant that. And it's like, really? When you did this, it meant that. And the, the mind is, I've had, like, as I said in just my previous video, I've had uh, quite a bit of time to look at it in the last few weeks. Uh, work is uh, scarce, and then where I go out of my mind is when I do work. Uh, my mentor in this particular um, venue, um, this teaching method, uh, is a man named Martin Sage. Uh, he's still on the planet. I talked to him a couple of weeks ago. He had cancer and says that the chemo did a lot to his brain, so he's gone into retirement in Spain. And it was good to talk to him. Yeah, uh, always good to talk to him. He's a genius on many levels. Uh, when I was working with him in Austin, Texas, I went back and I was co-training a lot of events and training my own events in his organization. And we were on yeah, 70 some acres around Austin. And uh, one of the things that we would do just to soothe the system uh, would be to go out and tend to the land, uh, cut down cedar trees and uh, because they were considered scavenger trees kind of and, and uh, burn them. And, but we were walking on the land one day and I was noticing just particularly how happy I was. My sister calls it the happy dream. Uh, working fairly consistently, working with people, getting curious with people, uh, basically having fun. Uh, and we were talking, and I know I've addressed this before, and that little fan came on, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, maybe get a new computer. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, at any rate, I said, you know, as you get to higher levels of happiness, maybe even higher levels of insight, uh, enlightenment, does your mind get more powerful? And he said, no, simply more insidious. <laughs> and the simply part, I, you know, I chuckle at now because it, it is not simple. The mind does find ways to, uh, it seems, to be compelling, to get you to believe it, to, to get you in a place where the only thing that you can do is blame other people for your problems. Uh, what we do in my seminars is we look with you at what is it that when you're doing it, you're out of your mind. Uh, I work with a lot of chiropractors and natural healers because when they're working with people, they're, if they're truly curious, then, they're, then they follow the lead, they follow the curiosity, and they're kind of out of their minds. They don't really exist as a personality. Uh, they ex exist more as a conduit. And that's what we look for, is what is a dream? What is it that when you're doing it, your system is soothed? And if you can find that, what is, is what you're doing, can you pursue it significantly hard enough, uh, strong enough to get your system to be relaxed and soothed or to get your mind to be quiet? Uh, kind of as an adjunct, when I did the enlightenment course in Korea, I got finished with it. Well, no, I wasn't finished with the course, I kind of been uh, probably about three quarters of the way through the course, and I had this brilliant experience. Uh, very comfortable, uh, no comfortable is not the word, wonderful is the word. Uh, familiar, uh, I've experienced those spaces before. And uh, then it disappeared, and my whole system went into turmoil again. I met with the Zen master once, talked about the experience, talked about just how magnificent it was. And then the next time we met was when I was in the midst of the turmoil. And I went to the Zen master and, I said, and he said, how are you doing? I said, I, I, I can't get soothed. I'm in so much turmoil. My whole system is churning. And you would think after years and years and years of doing work mm, that this wouldn't happen. But I I see that it, it, is, it is, as I've said, it's an ongoing journey. It's not something that you can achieve. It's something that will persist. Apparently Maslow says it gets easier with maturity. I may be the retarded exception. But when I talked to the uh, Zen master, I uh, said, you know, my system, I can't get soothed. And he said, oh my God. He said, then stop. Stop. When you go into the temple, don't do anything. Don't attempt anything. Don't look for the answer. Don't 
just relax in there. Now, I didn't think I was doing much before, but uh, I went in and relaxed, uh, laid down actually at one point. Uh, I thought I was sleeping, uh, woke up, uh, woke up, and I was on the ceiling of the Zen Zen and uh, screamed. Uh, kind of came to it. It was an out of body experience. It was magnificent. Uh, and then my system was soothed again. But uh, I'm not sure what the journey's about. I enjoy the journey most of the time. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to Santa Fe and Italy and Spain. Have a fun day. www.micbeakperformance.com